Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the third episode where we work together with Verta Collective and industry experts to answer some commonly asked questions. So, today is the Zhong Tou Si. So, we have uh, ben George from Pentium Percussion back with us and we are going to demonstrate drum tuning, right? But before we start, intro. Okay, George, welcome, welcome back. Okay, so today we, you're gonna demonstrate for us uh, how you would normally tune a snare, right? And how you normally teach on how to tune a snare drum. So come, what do we do? Okay, so so before before we begin, uh, that I will be talking uh, with some common terms, and uh, and uh, the first first thing I want to. Uh, explain to everyone is the quarter turn. So the quarter turn is very simply uh, turning the drum key 90 degrees. So this is my unit of measure for all, all of the, the tuning. La. Okay, so so we begin uh, with a scenario. We begin uh, with uh, a brand new skin change. Right, we loosen everything, right? So we loosen everything up. Okay, step one is we will finger tight. So when we finger tight, we do uh, opposing ends. Don't try and shortcut and try to do all these kind of weird, uh, funny combinations. Always do opposing ends. Okay. In this way, you ensure that the head is not slanted to one side in particular. So when you do this, so let's begin. Uh. Step one: finger tight, opposing ends. And when you use two hands, actually, things are really quite fast. Okay, step one, finger tight. Now, if you have difficulty with uh, turning the tension rods because maybe there's a very little room here, so you can use a, a key like the Sono drum key or the Evans, uh, Evans uh, talk key. And you can use uh, actually this little knob to ensure a smoother finger tight experience. Okay, now the next step we want to do, now that we've gotten things kind of pinned down evenly, the next thing we want to do is make sure that uh, the head is centered. So what happens is uh, the drum skin is always a little bit wider than the actual shell of the drum. So, you know, you want to have an equal spacing uh, between the the skin and the shell. So what you do, what I normally do is I just do a kind of like a CPR press in the middle. So what that does is it will tuck it in. It will tuck the shell in to the middle. So it kind of gives a kind of equidistant mm. spacing all around. Okay, so step one, repeat was finger tight. Step two, center the head. Uh, the next step is uh, very simple. So we're going to do uh, our quarter turns. For the snare drum, we do four quarter turns on the top and five quarter turns on the bottom. My formula is X plus one. Okay, where you will apply this, this uh, simple formula to uh, tuning across the entire drum kit. Uh, you can uh, follow my PDF and, and know uh, what's the setting to use. Okay. So this is uh, step three, right? We're going to do the quarter turns. Every time we do a quarter turn, we don't do four turns here at one shot. We do one at a time. What do I mean? So I do quarter turn, skip to the next one, quarter turn. Okay, that's one quarter turn, right? So we're going to do a total of four. That's the second one. Okay, so that was step three. You've done your four quarter turns. 
now you are going to fine tune and check whether they are uh, equally tuned. So what you do is you switch off your snare wire and then you use your finger and you tap one and a half inch from the edge. Pretty much correct, right? So uh, without any effort. So you know your, your top is done. All right. It just took what? A minute? Two minutes? Yeah. Okay. So now we go to the bottom. Same thing. Assume that we have changed everything up. Switch off the snare wire. Uh, let's reset this thing in. So now we begin uh, with the, the bottom. Now we know that our bottom is, is loose, everything. So again, step one, begin with finger tight. Okay. Go all around. Uh, some people teach, oh, skip a lot and all that, that kind of things. Uh, I, I I find that most most people get confused. They lose count. Hmm. Uh, they, uh, so then they end up... Because got the star shape pattern and everything. Star right? shape pattern yeah. and all that. I think I find that generally people get confused. Hmm. So I, I, I don't bother with that now. Okay. Step one. Finger tight, right? Okay. Now, for the Rizzo head, are you going to do a CPR kind of press to center it? Please don't make an expensive $19 mistake. Okay. Please be gentle on the... The Rizzo head. Alright. That was step two, right? Centering the, the skin. And now we're just going to do, remember, X plus one. So now, uh, we're going to do five quarter turns on the bottom. Uh, really, there is a limit to how much you can turn. I've, I've found that uh, the maximum really is six quarter turns. Beyond that, the chance of the skin breaking is extremely high. Okay, so we're going to stick to four on top, five below. Okay, let's begin. And if you find uh, there's a little too much resistance in the snare drum, um, then maybe you've got to back off a bit. Okay, how do you check the, the bottom? So that was step three, right? You do your five quarter turns. And now you want to check your your pitch, remember, use your finger and tap one and a half inch from the edge. Pull your snare wire up. Some people like to put the stick there. I find that it damages the, the snare wire, so I prefer not to do that. More or less there, right? So, okay, good. Now you turn on the your snare, and then you can get a taste of what a quick tuning sounds like. That's it, folks. Right. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, I actually was quite amazed uh, when you tune up everything. You didn't, don't even need to do much fine tuning. Yeah. It's, as, just, it's as, just right. Correct, correct. So as, as long as you are consistent with your 90 degree turns, everything is, mm. is the same. You roughly would end up with the same thing. And because you probably encounter more trouble if you did one key at a time. Mm. Mm. You know, but because you did two at a time, it's actually quite fast and it's more consistent. Hmm. So is it possible if, uh, let's say for example, some students at home, they don't have two drum keys, is it still possible for them to apply this method? Uh, you can one? use the same method, but hmm. you really need to do opposing ends right. at any one time. You turn hmm. 90 here, you got to turn 90 here. Yeah. Then you move on to the next one. Yeah. Personally, when I tune the, when I tune the snare, right? So I use that, just now we were talking about the star method. So hmm. yeah, it's actually really quite confusing. It's co confusing, then you're like, wow, then you... Correct, then correct. Then where, so, where did I last just... Yeah, so what I did was, okay, I will always have to hold on to my first one. Ah, yes. <laughs> like, then my first one, this yeah, is so, my first so one. So generally, I will always uh, be on the throw-off side. Mm. I will start with the one on the throw. Ah, okay. Then I know I will, so I'm, that's, when that's, I come back to it, I, okay, I'm, mm. I'm done. And you don't always need to remember, keep track of it because it's consistent, right? Yeah, then yeah. You start off with that. So, and, mm. and the thing about two, having two keys is mm. like, this is the eight lock drum. I know I'm just going to do this four times. One, mm. two, three, four. It's so much easier to keep track. Right, 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 right. You know? So, uh, one of the things that uh, I think a lot of people ask is, I think some of them have, are having trouble uh, tuning uh, the snare. So, that's a, that's a cheap, uh, versus the expensive snare, uh, in terms of the ease of tuning, uh, does it matter? Uh, I, I find that uh, as long as you have new skins, a cheap snare will sound great. Mm. Uh, the main difference in price between a cheap snare and an expensive mm. snare is really durability, mm. uh, consistency in the tuning, and aesthetics. Right. You know, right. So if those things don't matter so much, a cheap drum mm. can really be... Mm. 
can really sound good. Follow the correct methods. Uh, generally, it won't be uh, really difficult, even if it's a. Yeah, and you uh, just really need drum. a fresh drum skin. Yeah, of course. And it will sound good. Yeah. So, your recommendation is four turns on top and then X plus one. So, uh, five, on the five on the bottom. So, let's say, for example, if I want a more deep fat. Tuning. Okay, fatter you... tuning. Then what you can do mm. is you can do instead of four on the top, you do three. Mm. Three on the top, four on the bottom. Ah, right. So then you lower the number of the, the X basically, right? You yeah. re reduce the X uh, to get the different kind of sound and yeah. experiment uh, around that you want. So one of the things that a lot of people do, uh, um, that I've seen and I've, I've tried also, uh, is that they will tune, they will really crank up uh, the bottom head. Uh, regardless of how what kind of sound they want, right? Mm. Um, and what what do you, what do you think about that? Uh, the getting the bottom head uh, tight is really to maximize the articulation of the snare. The right? sensitivity, yes. right? Yeah. Okay. So mm. when yeah you're using this approach to tuning, mm. right? Uh, you're not using the bottom head to get the pitch. Mm. You're you're getting a pitch you want from the top, and the bottom is just purely mm. for articulation. Solely dependent on top for the pitch, yeah. and then uh, bottom and it's okay. For it's it's okay because uh. Uh, some people will even say if you tune the top and bottom head to notes, mm. some people will say a, a third is right. nice, uh, right. a fifth is even nicer, some mm. people say. Uh, but there's, there's, there's a truth which is uh, not all intervals work. Mm. So you uh, if you tune it and it sounds kind of weird with some mm. clashing kind of overtones, uh, tune one of them up. Right. Yeah, usually the bottom head up. Ah, okay. So, okay. And, and another quick tip is if your snare drum sound sucks, right? Hmm. Generally, the quick fix is tune the bottom up. Ah, okay. Okay, uh, okay, okay. Once you do that, ah, okay, it'll be fine. Right, okay. So, very good. So, today, uh, we have learned how to do a very basic setup uh, and uh, tuning of the snare drum. So, in the next session, what we have is a little surprise because uh, we were going to have a special guest coming up to join us. So, remember to stay tuned uh, for the next session. Uh, of this series together with George, right? Yeah, so remember to like and subscribe and stay tuned for our next uh, episode.